Just minutes after the verdict, Troy Hayden, the only reporter to speak one-on-one -on -one with Jody Arias. Troy was in the courtroom for the entire trial and was the only journalist in the world to speak with her right after the conviction was handed down. Troy, your thoughts? Well, I, I will say, first of all, I didn't speak to Jody Arias in jail. I talked to her in a holding cell down below the courthouse. She was taken there immediately after that verdict was read. I could tell she was shaken when I first walked up to her. I asked her if she was ready to do this. She said yes, and here's some of what she had to say. You uh, had some clashes with Juan Martinez. You kind of went after him on Twitter a little bit. What are your thoughts on Juan? Um, well, prior to trial, I respected Juan as a very um, capable attorney. Um, even though he's done some very shady things in my case, as far as hiding evidence and um, failing to disclose certain things, hoping it would just go away. But in the end, what does it matter? It didn't help my case. So if you had to do this all over again, you're in the desert, you notice that you've got blood on your hands, how do you handle it? I would turn around and drive to the Mesa Police Department. And what do you think would have happened to you then? I don't know, but it would have been the right thing. Do you have a sense of where the, the public feeling is about you, that you're liked or not liked? I mean... I get the sense that there is great division on both sides, but I believe the majority is against me. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, a psychologist once explained to me that Society has this need to um, persecute people. They get some sort of gratification from it, so there might be something going on there. Did you uh, have any knowledge of, you know, the interest in your case? Do you have an idea of how many people are interested? Um, I hear things, but I have no access to the news, the internet, that sort of thing. No direct access. What kinds of things do you hear? Um. I do get the newspaper, so that's been one portal where I've learned things. Um, a lot of inmates have come in to the jail since then, and they tell me um, they want to come up and shake my hand, they want to give me a hug, they want to, they want my autograph. I'm not going to sign anything. Let's go forward. Say you do get a long sentence. How are you going to spend your life? I haven't decided yet. Now, she did tell me earlier that she preferred the death penalty over life in prison, John and Carrie, and said she did not want to be in one place stuck in jail all this time. She'd prefer to be strapped on that table and, uh, and again, get the death penalty. Well, did you ever express sorrow and regret for killing Travis Alexander? Did she ever say, I want to tell the family I'm so sorry that this happened? The only thing she would say to the family directly was that she hopes this verdict gives them peace. And I asked her a couple of times, and that's basically the only answer I got from her on that. Now, she's not doing any more interviews. Um, to, your, your, your interview was the only interview she's done and will do because she's now on suicide watch. Is that right? Yeah. Um, because she made some tweets and because of some of the statements she made actually during our interview, I've been told by the Sheriff's Department that they have put her on kind of a psych watch uh, to make sure that she doesn't do anything to hurt herself. And during that time, she will not be allowed to talk to any other reporters. Troy, does that mean they move her out of the cell that you visited earlier on in this case? I believe so. They but have I, to I don't put know. Her in an in in isolated situation. Yeah, she said she actually had moved from that cell because they're doing some construction in the jail. And I said to her, I said, you seemed like you had a, a pretty strong support group around you of those other inmates who were your close friends. And she said she's been taken out of that pod and moved to another pod because of all the construction they've been doing. So I don't know where she is tonight. But I do know there are some cells in that area where you're locked down for 23 hours. And the things you have access to are very, very limited, so it's very difficult for you to hurt yourself if now you Now, you spoke to. with her for 45 minutes. So yeah. much more coming up tonight at 6 and again at 9 and 10. What, what do you have coming up at 6? Uh, just a lot more. Um, I really can't give you a thumbnail. I'll be honest with you guys. My head is spinning. I've been going nonstop since early this morning. I'm going to get back to the editing room. I'm going to look again at what we have, and, right. and we'll have some new stuff for Something you. Okay. Troy, 